Salute, so, salute. So, so. Now, Kermani McClain finds himself in a sticky situation in Florida where he have to decide should he go ahead and figure out the rest of this season where it seems though he can't make the depth chart or should he just go about his business a different way in red shirt and try to retrain himself, you know, mind, body, spirit, and come back stronger um, next season. Now, before we get started, I want to preface this first by saying uh, Kermani McClain is the same person that, you know, for the most part, I wish this brother do well, you know, in life and in his career, most importantly. But he's the same guy who committed to the Colorado Buffs on the internet. Now he decided to do that commitment right there after decommitting from Miami on the internet. Now I just wanted to specify that in particular because he did me when he when he turned around and left the Colorado Buffs, he went right back to the internet again. And this is what he had to say as it pertaining to the Colorado Buffs and not wanting to play for clicks. So of everyone thinking on my name. Be a part of a real and a great program that's going to impact me at my best ability. And yeah, ready to get to a new place and get to work. Yeah, I feel like I just don't want to play for Clicks. I actually want to be involved with a great leading program that's going to develop. Now, players. again, that's what he had to say, and he brought that to the internet. Now, you guys can see his mother, after he left the Colorado Buffs, she went to the internet again, which was Twitter, and this is what she said. She said he got to be somewhere where he's appreciated and not just tolerated. God take the lead. We're right behind you. Now, I specify all this. Why do I do all this? I do this most importantly because, you know, nowadays when Carmine McClain, he left Colorado on the Coast Prime, you know, when Coast Prime was basically letting everybody, you know, he was tooting the horn on Carmine McClain about his work ethic, etc. Now you guys are seeing in Florida some of those same things are seemingly happening as well. Or one way or another, he's not on the depth chart in Florida. He, you know, he can't seem to make the depth chart. Now guys want you to stop talking about Carmine. Don't happen on this platform. We cover everybody as a pertaining different players, etc. And we're going to continue to do so on this platform right here. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe right now, turn that pros notification bell on to all. And we're going to jump right into this clip right here. As you guys can see, uh, many guys is reporting from the Florida side of things. They believe that Kermani McClain should red shirt. It's reported right here. Kermani might as well red shirt. Use this year to learn how to be a D1 athlete. Talent is there. Mentally can be a year to lock in. Or mentally, this can be a year to lock in. Not cracking a 3D for Samford is crazy. Now, again, you guys can see this is Kermani McClain, and they feel as though maybe he should redshirt this season. You guys seen previously his mother kind of sort of took a shot when she said he need to go somewhere where he's appreciated, not just tolerated. On this platform, we're going to continue to cover this brother's journey, and I wish him well in that regard. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on to all. Get down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about Kermani McClain. Should he redshirt? Me, personally, I will err on the side of this young man right here, or this, you know, the report right here, I should say, where he should maybe take some time, you know, to get focused, refocus, work hard, dedicate his mind, body, spirit, red shirt, watch this year away because it looked like it's looking even worse in Florida than it did in Colorado. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much.